My. Well, we got about three minutes to talk about three things. One is talk about NATO. Well, you know, the United Nations has always wanted to have its own army, and nobody knew how it was going to happen. When the Warsaw Pact dismantled their army, that's the communist bloc. Yes, yes. When the Iron Curtain fell down and uh, the Cold War was over, they dismantled their army. NATO, which was designed to guard against the Warsaw Pact, did not dismantle its army. Everybody wondered, what's NATO going to do? It's this huge military machine. What's it going to do? Now we're finding out. When Bill Clinton wanted to move in against Milosevic in Kosovo, he used NATO. Now they're using NATO in Afghanistan. Now the NATO is looking at Iran. NATO is becoming the world army of the one world governmental system because a world government can't really enforce its edicts without having the military right. wherewithal to back wow. up their decisions. So that's what has happened as far as NATO is concerned right now. And the ICC? Well, the International Criminal Court is the world's first permanent world court. And they just, in 2006, started prosecuting their first case. Now, what this means is that there are four categories of crimes. There are crimes against humanity, genocide, war crimes, and crimes of aggression. And if Mike Anderson is accused of genocide, he could be hailed before that world court without the protection of the U.S. Constitution nor the Bill of Rights and placed on trial there, and we might never see him again. You say, well, there's no problem. I couldn't commit gen genocide. Actually, you could because now then they have lumped hate crimes under genocide and there are nations today even if you try to convert a person from their religion to yours in France today there's a two-year prison term and they call that genocide in Canada today if you speak against homosexuality that's called a hate crime five years in prison so now this world court is going to end up having that power I personally believe that the International Criminal Court established in 1998 by the Treaty of Rome that that is going to end up being the court that will be used to perpetrate the Great Tribulation against the Saints. So that was a huge thing that happened. The first prosecution started uh, just this year, 2006. And just, a, we, oh, we just got a few seconds. Just a few days ago, the euro passed the dollar. Yes, the euro now has more money in circulation than, oh than the dollar. Oh my. The center of world power swinging to Europe just like the Bible says that it will. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know the Lord Jesus today, I want you to invite Him to come into your heart. I want you to get to know Him through repentance, be identified with Him in water baptism, in His precious name, washing away your sins, be filled with the Spirit. Oh, He wants you to know Him in the fullness. He wants you to know Him in the fullness. Don't cheat yourself out of knowing Jesus right now when it's the last days. If you don't know him, please get to know him. We love you. In Jesus' name.